Mr. President, thank you. Um, I'm not quite sure which question um, the senator was referring to, but let me quickly uh, just dispense of, uh, of the council's invocation again of Bond versus Floyd. This is a case I, I know well, and I thank him for raising it. Julian Bond uh, was a friend of mine. He was a colleague of mine at American University. He was a great civil rights hero. And in his case, he got elected to the Georgia State Legislature um, and is a member of, St of SNCC, the Student Nonviolent Coordinating Committee, uh, the great committee headed up by the great Bob Moses for a long time. He got elected to the Georgia Legislature, and they didn't want to allow him to be sworn in. They wouldn't allow him to take his oath of office because SNCC had taken a position against the Vietnam War. And so the Supreme Court said that was a violation of his First Amendment rights not to allow him to be sworn in. That's the complete opposite of Donald Trump. Not only was he sworn in on January 20th, 2017, he was president for almost four years before he incited this violent insurrection against us, and he violated his oath of office. That's what this impeachment trial is about, his violation of his oath of office and his refusal to uphold the law and take care that the laws are faithfully executed. Please don't desecrate the name of Julian Bond, a great American, by linking him with this terrible plot against America that just took place in the storming of the U.S. Capitol. I'm going to turn it over to my colleague, uh, Ms. Plasky. Jim. Oh. Thank you. Let's just be clear. President Trump summoned the mob, assembled the mob, lit the flame. Everything that followed was his doing. And although he could have immediately and forcefully intervened to stop the violence, he didn't. In other words, this attack would not have happened without him. This attack is not about one speech. Most of you men would not have your wives with one attempt at talking to her. It took numerous trials. You had to build it up. That's what the president did as well. He put together the group that would do what he wanted, and that was to stop the certification of the election so that he could retain power to be president of the United States in contravention of an American election.